Hi everybody. Welcome back to uh, Jimmy's First Gen Mini Rescue. I'm Jimmy and um, small things to do on the uh, 05 convertible, getting the transmission out. Um, however, I'm not going under the car today. Uh, my next steps on the car, I think are gonna be like the uh, drivetrain, get that, get that separated from the transmission and everything. However, it's Christmas Eve. It's a bye. Uh-oh. <laughs> My neighbor dropping stuff behind me. Anyway, it's Christmas Eve, and uh, it's about 3 something in the afternoon, but it's like 56 degrees Fahrenheit Celsius down here. So I'm going to do something simple that needs to be done anyway, but let's get today's fortune. Your mentality is alert, practical, and analytical. Alert, practical, and analytical. I am definitely the analytical kind. Anyway. That's today's fortune. Uh, we'll get this put away in a minute. But I brought the cooling package over here because I'm going to go ahead and change the um, the resistor. I got this resistor on Amazon. They were $15 a piece. And when not sponsored. Um, I don't know the brand. It came in a nondescript white box. I mean, you can see it's just a plain white box. But... Um, when I ordered them, I ordered four. I have one working in the uh, blue and white mini that I changed the clutch on before. And um, this is what I got. And I'm gonna put it in, it was $15 on Amazon. I just put in um, R53 or R52 uh, fan resistor, a low speed fan resistor, and then whatever popped up, I looked at them. I didn't get the cheapest, I didn't get the most expensive. Um, I got the middle of the middle of the road, I guess. Anyway, so I'm gonna need some wire cutters, wire strippers, and um, some uh, uh, what do you call that? Heat shrink and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go get some tools, and uh, I'll show you how you got to get get to the actual uh, resistor in the in the radiator. Okay, down on my bucket here, I've got some. Um, I got a like a heat shrink connector kit. I use this also on the boat when I got to do wiring on the boat. So they're, they're waterproof. They're they're very good. They're actually marine grade. So in the car, they'll be perfect. Um, on the bucket, I got various uh, wire strippers and crimp connectors and things like that. So on my work barrel. I'm gonna bring the uh, cooling package up. Ugh. Now, there may still be a little bit of water in the radiator. However, from the front, the uh, resistor kind of sits behind the radiator, right in this area. So what you gotta do is, you gotta remove the radiator. And remember, I had a problem taking the, the condenser off. Uh, however, I believe when I remove the radiator, the condenser shouldn't be a problem coming with the radiator. So I'm going to take the radiator out and, uh, yeah, show you how you do that. Really, it's just uh, these push pins here and here. You pull them out they're, they're, and then you take out the, in the middle. Well, let's show you. Ugh. I got a pry tool and a small very small what i call a tweaker but it's a flat tip screwdriver you can get behind here kind of there you go pull it out Pull the radiator up a little just to get the grommet off. 
put these to the side, move my tools, and the radiator should pull up and out of the plate, out of way. They do sell this foam. Um, however, if you take care, if it's not crusty, just save it. So I'm gonna save it over here. Stand up. And uh, uh, I have to, let's see, can it? Okay. There's three um, zip ties that need to be cut. And I'll be able to zip tie them back. Mm. Actually, let's see if we can just pull the tabs out instead of cutting it. Is the radiator. Be careful with that. And I'm going to show you what I was doing. I'm going to show you what I was doing. These have um, these little clips that attach to the radiator support. And I just kind of Squeeze them out. I did cut one. I'll have to put a, a new zip tie in that one. But that's what holds the wiring for your resistor, which is the back of the radiator, to uh, your uh, radiator support. So now I just have to take this bolt off and the resistor lives in here, but you got to get access. So let's do that. Wait, before I do that, what I'm going to do is remove the actual fan from the radiator so that I'm not gonna damage the radiator. And it just slides in place. So I should be able to lift the fan this, this way. These bottom ones clip in place and the top ones just slide in place. There we go. Now I can move the radiator to a safe location and not have to worry about it. Okay. Now, you can see the resistor from behind. You can tell this one is completely jacked up. It's, it's no good. But to get to it, you have to, it's located here. So you take this, these two, they look like either eights or tens. I'll go get a couple of uh, sockets and get that out of there. Okay, yes, indeed they are eight millimeter. Rusty as I don't know what. Up. 
and there is your resistor. And just to compare, here's the new resistor. So as you can see, well, maybe you can't, let's just get you. There's a blue and a red on one side and then a single red on the other. So I just cut them one at a time as close to the resistor as possible. And so I'll cut the single red. Strip back the single red. Strip back the single red on this one. Uh. I'm gonna cut it a little bit more because the wire looks like it's a little bit. There we go, looks better. And now we assemble with the wire cut connector. Go one size bigger. Okay, that's one. We use our crimp tool. I love these things. They just crimp perfect. Once you have them set, you can adjust them for tightness, but once you have them set, perfect tool. And now the new a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more wire exposed. There we go. I'll heat gun, heat gun that later. Okay, so now it's just a simple matter of the red and the blue, red and blue. Okay, I'm back. It was some excitement. We had a, a deer in the neighborhood, right back here behind the house. So we don't normally get that, so. Let's close this up. Okay, all three pieces are in. 
we'll close this up. This out the way. Put our cover back on. See how we can do this to make it okay. And we'll put this in here. Put our rusty screws back. Just plastic, remember that. Okay. Okay, here's a quick tip. I gotta repair the uh, one clip that I cut the cable tie. I got my bag of cable ties here. And to keep them from falling out, you know, some people, they open them up here or whatever. But what I do is I cut a notch in the, cor in the side, right? And then I can just grab a cable tie, pull it out, and the rest of them are not gonna fall out. So. That's how I open my cable tie bags and I can hang this on a shelf somewhere and they'll be fine. Okay. This witness mark tells me it was in this location right here. So we'll just um, put it loosely. And then I'll tighten it up once I get it on the actual uh, fan shroud. So we'll start with that. Close enough. I can slide it around. Good to go. Now, what I can do is take some, um, some tape and tape this. Just tape these wires together. However, they're not going anywhere. But, uh. I think I like the black. Nah, I'll leave them exposed. Might have to tape it later. Anyway, let's get the radiator back. Okay. This is the top of the radiator. This is the bottom. You can see the, uh, the little bottom um, pegs. And you can see the top where the, uh, the little push pins go in. That's the top. Plus, the bottom has these clips. And the top just slides in. Alright. Slide the lock. 
Got it locked. Locked in place. Very good. Now. Okay, all in all, it's probably would have taken about a half an hour having the, the car already in front end service mode and the radiator removed. Now, if you're doing this and you gotta remove the radiator, then you're gonna have to add, you know, about an hour or less to your time. Um, yeah, this wasn't working. You could tell it was just completely shot, but so replacing it was the best option. And something quick, easy to do um, while I'm waiting to do the rest of it. Uh, yeah, so there's a few other small tasks that I need to do. I just realized on there that I want to replace the alternator. I went to spin the alternator and it was very, very tight. Uh, however, again, parts car to the rescue. I have an alternator in my storeroom, so that's not an issue uh, as far as getting one. I'll keep that one and I have another one that I'll keep both of them. And um, there's a uh, alternator rebuild manufacturer, remanufacturing place in Richmond. And I'll take them both over there and, and get them remanufactured. Or at least I'll get one remanufactured so I'll have a shelf, shelf ready one. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Um, I just, again, uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas. This won't come out till after Christmas, but it is Christmas Eve today. Um, so I hope you had a, a Merry Christmas with your family, friends, loved ones, uh, people you care about. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you, uh, maybe this will come out before New Year's Eve. So, uh, happy New Year's, uh, if it does. And I hope, uh, or when you watch it, hope you had a safe and enjoyable New Year's, uh, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to call it a day. So it's unbelievable. I'm out here in short, short sleeve shirt, and the, and my bees. You know, I'm a beekeeper. Uh, the bees were flying today. They weren't bringing in any nectar because the plants were are pretty much dead. Uh, however, they're finding pollen from somewhere. There was pollen on their legs. Uh, a few of them coming in. 
So anyway, that's it. I'm calling it a day. Uh, we're going to the house. Get ready. We're going up to see the grandkids tomorrow. And uh, my my daughter's in-laws, which are the other grandparents. We're going to spend a half a day together. And um, yeah, just enjoy. All right. Y'all have fun. Be safe. And uh, oh, enjoy your minis. Whatever you do with them to find enjoyment. All right. See y'all.